Okay, nine Amish men from Kentucky were jailed over refusing to use an orange reflective triangle on the back of their buggies. And for those of you who don't know what a buggy is or what an Amish person is, they basically live like how people lived in, I don't even know, 1800s, 1700s. Mm -hmm. They don't have electricity. They don't believe in, like, the media, I don't think. They are quiet people. I'm... I don't know, but I'll just keep going. But a buggy is like a horse-drawn carriage, kind of. Yep. But a little, it's not as cool as a horse-drawn carriage. It looks like a black box. But anyways, so these men from Kentucky are serving jail time just because they refuse to place a reflective orange triangle on their buggies. And they belong to the old order of Schwatzen Truber, which is a seriously strict sect of Amish. So basically you're saying that their religion is saying that for whatever reason they weren't supposed to place these reflective covers on their buggy. Right. right. And the only reason that the government is, or in Kentucky is trying to get them to do this is because, you know, for safety reasons, it is it is like a black carriage and it's kind of hard to see. They need reflectors on it. But they use reflective tape, but they won't use the triangle symbol. One reason being because it's orange and they don't believe in... um displaying loud colors, and it should be avoided at all costs. And also, they don't like worldly symbols, so I guess a triangle is like a worldly symbol. They consider it kind of like the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and they believe in just like one God in their religion, so I guess they don't like the triangle very much. All right, so on one side, their religion is saying for, you know, whatever purposes, religion, the rules, you have to you know, the effective means of transportation is pretty much a wagon, a dark colored wagon pulled by horses. Now, the government is saying that whenever you have these on public roads, whenever a car comes up to you, it's going to be dangerous unless you have these protective signs all over it. So personally, what do you feel about this? What do you feel should happen to these people? Well, can I, can I tell you what is happening with them? Yeah, go ahead. Right now what's happening, they're going to court and they this happened a while back and they appealed for it but they still had to come back to court and their appeal was denied so they ended up serving anywhere from like a week to 10 days in jail and they're all super respectful and you know abide by the law and they go mm -hmm. to jail and whatever else and they're not putting up like a huge fight you know but they're going to court and they're being charged with these fines and I feel like this is just another one of those religious things that the government shouldn't mess with I mean, I kind of have to... So you're saying they're not doing it to be defiant. They're doing it because it's their religion and they shouldn't be punished for that? Exactly. Okay. I'm going to have to disagree with you again. Go ahead. Here's what I feel should have happened. First of all, they shouldn't have been arrested right on the spot. Were they arrested right on the spot? Um, From what we know. I think the government put out that all the Amish people, because there's a bunch of Amish people in yeah. Kentucky, that they need to have all these reflective things and... But nine men, I don't know how they narrowed it down, I guess because there's not that many. But nine men just didn't want to, they refused to put them on their carts. Okay, so that's what I feel, that the government should have warned them first. And then, once they were aware of the laws, if they still refused to abide by them, then they should have been arrested. And I'll tell you why. Because those roads, those public roads, those are not Amish built roads. Those are the government roads. And I'm saying this. The government owns them, so they should be able to decide what the laws are. And I'm not just saying, you know, forget about your religion. I'm saying that more importantly, safety. the laws are there to protect us. They're there for a reason. And a black wagon, a wagon covered entirely in black at night is incredibly hard to see. Imagine driving along a road in your car going like 60 and then coming up against this black wagon suddenly that has no reflect. It kind of just <laughs> pops out of nowhere. That's very dangerous. That can lead to death. So it's not like we are forced, forcing these Amish people to travel along these roads. They're doing it on their own free will. And if you want to use these roads that don't even belong to you, then you need to follow the rules just like everyone else. And the number one reason is safety. Not for you, but for the other people who, you know, just because of them. Yeah, and I would, I guess I agree with that because I think the government number one thing should be safety 
and protection of the public and, you know, that sort of thing. But at the same time, I feel like governments are in charge of public schools and, you know, I don't know if they have religious issues there. Well, not issues, but I know you can't wear, like, a head covering or, like, not a head covering, but a hat or, like, a bandana or a do-rag, but Muslim girls can wear, like, their burqas and whatnot, and, you know, they have tolerance for that. So I feel like the courts should have, you know, at least tried to respect their religion a little bit more. It's, but I, there's a big difference between a little Muslim girl wearing a burqa to elementary school and someone driving along a public road. I know and that, like, but what I'm saying is, like, it might not have to be a reflective triangle. Why can't they just have reflective tape, like, all over their buggy, you know? 